Hey, I'm Brennan with Revzilla, joined here by my buddy Chase, and we are checking out the Merlin Miller leather jacket. And of course, this jacket is available at Revzilla.com. So the Merlin jacket, this is geared towards the two season hot weather riding season. We've got two vents here at the chest. We've got some perforation on the insides of the arms, and then we've got some new TFL Cooltech coating on the leather as well. I'll get into that, more of that in just a moment, but it is gonna help with those summer riding months. We've got a brushed cowhide leather, which has an incredible hand to it. But before I get going on the details, as always, I do wanna talk about the overall fit. We've got Chase here. He's about 5'9", 180 pounds with a 40 inch chest. If you reference the sizing, for this particular jacket, that's gonna be spot on for him to fit inside a 40. That is what he's wearing. So I would certainly say this jacket is fitting true to what the sizing chart is going to recommend for you. I did wanna mention, it is a little bit more generous in the chest and then kind of tapers down to the waist. That's pretty much par for the course when it comes to Merlin's jackets. Just something to keep in mind there. And of course, this jacket will ship to you for free. It's coming in around 480 bucks. And as always, we do have our price match policy in place. That is there to ensure you're getting the best deal around. So let's start here at the top with the collar as we usually do. So a simple snapback collar here, a little bit of neoprene right in the middle, kind of like that there, just makes it a little bit more comfortable if you are someone who actually clasps this all the way closed. I don't know many riders that do. You can pin it back here with this little loop. I don't really love that design. Personally, I like when you can fold it in and snap it on the inside, but then that's pressed against your neck. So to each their own, a little personal preference there, but that is a little bit finicky. As we work our way down the shoulders, we've got D3O armor at the shoulder as well as the elbow that is CE level one armor. It's the uh, D-Throw LP1 material, which is very breathable. It's very comfortable against the skin. It moves very well with the body and inside the jacket and still giving you that extra level of protection. As I mentioned before, we've got a brushed cowhide leather main construction here. It has an excellent hand to it, which is really hard to explain until you have the ability to try this jacket on and, and actually feel it for yourself. Now, as we work our way down the arm, as I mentioned before, we do have all of this perforation. You do have a removable thermal uh, vest on the inside so you are getting some additional versatility with that vest, but this is again geared more towards that warmer riding season and it is a vest. So this is gonna go directly to the body here with this perforation on the arm. Back of the elbow, again, D3O armor there, CE level one, and then a simple you know, two snap adjustment with a zipper right there at the bottom of the wrist. Sorry about that, I feel like it crushed your hand there. And then when we work our way to the chest, we do have two vents here, those open up. Those are gonna be direct to the body. Obviously you'd wanna have that vest removed to maximize the airflow there. And then two Two hand warmer pockets on both the left and right hand side. Now Chase, go ahead and face that direction for me, sir, if you don't mind. This is something I definitely mention with every jacket. I like seeing a little bit of accordion, relief stitching, something that's gonna allow my arms to move freely when I'm in that riding position. So I do like accordion that is integrated into this jacket right here at the back of the shoulders. As we work our way down to the waistline, you can see you've got some adjustability. This is a simple Velcro, a good range of adjustability with that right there on both the left and right hand side. Of course, so you can pull in any excess material if you need to do so. Chase, go ahead and face the back for me, sir. Very straightforward on the back. No back protector is included, but you do have a pocket on the inside, so you can throw a back protector in there if you wish to do so. I certainly recommend it. As we work our way down towards the bottom, you are gonna find two exhaust vents. So these are gonna open up, and it's gonna help that airflow to be moved through the jacket and allow that hot air to escape at the rear. Chase, go ahead and face the front for me, sir. Let's go ahead and unzip that real quick, and we'll take a quick look on the inside. As I mentioned, it's about 125 grams uh, with that vest liner, very easy to remove. It's just a horseshoe zip, zips all the way out of there. And you've got some stash pockets incorporated as well. Now you do have a short connection zipper at the back. So if you wanna pair this up with a set of Merlin pants, you can certainly do so. Chase, you can go ahead and zip that up. If you're looking for you know, a leather jacket that has a really nice hand to it, a great amount of protection, and then we've got that TFL cool tech coating that I mentioned before, that is designed to help reduce the heat that you're getting from the sun's rays being emitted to the leather. So it's some really new tech that they're utilizing. I think it works really well. The jacket is still very comfortable and it's gonna be a great option for the summer riding season with that classic kind of vintage design, which we love to see from Merlin. They are a great combination of style, function, as well as protection. And of course, if you're looking for more details, feel free to click that info button. That's gonna take you over to revzilla.com. And as always, we do have our gear geeks. They are here. They're happy to help you out and get you pointed in the right direction. Give them a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with Chase and I and taking a closer look at the Merlin Miller leather jacket. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.